Hey guys, if you're watching this video by itself, go to my page, Chuck Prince for the USA. There's a playlist right below the right, right the very top. It's ten about a Tennessee father getting arrested for trying to pick his kids up from school. If you're not watching that playlist right there, watch the playlist right there. Watch the video that happens to this father, and then watch the one after the one after this after the, me talking to what they say when they say he was acting up and note the fact that he didn't act up the day before. Watch them both. But more importantly, watch the one the first one he gets arrested, and then the, watch and then come back to this video and watch this, and then watch the one after that. But here you go. This father got arrested just picking his kids up from school. They change the policy. You have to pull up in the car. You have to wait in line. They bring your kids to the car, and it's an hour after school. This school still has a line outside. You know, a car alongside the street. It's a hazard for the people in the roadway. It's paying the butt to the parents, and it's wasting the kid and everybody's time. I mean, the father walks up to the school, decides to walk up, pick his kids up in person, and this a-hole little school resource officer arrests the father. If that is not so ridiculous that it's beyond comprehension, I'm right with I'm right there with you. Okay? Now this is after we've seen Robert Smalls, questioning Common Core, get arrested by a off duty sheriff. Get arrested for questioning the way that we educate our children. He has a complete right to be concerned about that. Why would we even think that you should arrest a parent for questioning their how their kids educated if it's really I mean it's, they're, it's honest question. I mean why would that be wrong? And now we got kids, parents trying to pick their kids up from school. They're being arrested. This is tyranny. This, I warn you, this is tyranny. This is how our country dies. When you can't pick your kid up when school's out. There, 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 there is something wrong. There is something wrong. Are you tired of this? Are you still paying your taxes to an oppressive government that you don't, that you don't agree to? If the government is abusive, you have not just a right, but a constitutional duty to defund that government. Because if you give it, because your consent to everything, your consent to government is your funding of it. If you fund government, but you don't consent to it, your consent becomes irrelevant. Because you give it the means to rule you anyway. Do you see now? Do you, oh, you give it the means to rule you anyway? So if you don't consent, you have to take those means away. That's your oh, that is your consent. Your taxes are your consent. If you're still paying money to these people, you're you're a fool. You're funding tyranny, and you know what? You put your money where your mouth is. Because you know what? Your principles are like the bones of who you are. But your actions are the meat on your bones. Your meat and your bones, this muscle, everything, these are your actions. If you don't fuck up. And put some meat in those bones. You don't stand for your principles now. You might die for them later. If this keeps going, soon they will come for the guns. And if you are the kind of person who hasn't done anything, put some meat in those bones, when they come for the freaking guns, they're going to pry it from your cold, dead hand. Because when they come, they're going to be ready. And they're going to be chosen to be at your door. And they're going to be prepared to be there. And expected some resistance. And they will deal with you, I imagine, quite handy. So wake up. Smell what's going on in front of our eyes. Smell the situation. Smell like you smell that rank, nasty, putrid smell in the air. That's tyranny. That's the decay of the American Constitution, our values, and our principles, and who we are as a country. Disintegrating right in front of your eyes. And you're letting it happen. You're funding it, your taxes. Well, I'll get a paycheck. How about the fund it? You know, you own your own business, Chuck. That's pretty easy for you to do. Well, claim a 10 on your tax on your W 2. Write 10 on there. Just write 10. Just start claiming 10. Start telling people why you're doing it, too. Get other people to do it with you. Talk to them. Don't be rude, but keep giving them facts. Keep showing them what's going on. So if you look at the honest truth, you show people videos of parents getting arrested trying to pick their kids up from school? Of a, a police officer assaulting a man for questioning education like Robert Smalls? They, they're they're going to feel like fools for doubting you for one second on what you said. We have the evidence that they are giving us right now to fight this. You just have to be smart enough to say the right words to the right people and guess what's going to happen? They're going to see the light and if we can do that, my friend, we can win. We're all mankind will always achieve and win over if you're trying to be real and win. Not because we're inherently good, 
but because we have God's law written in our hearts, or you know, or you know, believe in God, we also have this kind of moral standard like, that was all written into our written into us somehow. You know, we all kind of like know inherently most of us do a few psychopaths that murder's wrong, rape's wrong, things like that. You know, it's kind of but we know that that's in our in our, in our genes somehow. We're like, you can't know that's not right. And that's what we always overcome. The question is though, is like, how much man, how much pain does man have to endure before he wakes the fuck up? How much do you have to put yourself through before you see the light in front of your face? Before you realize what's going on? I mean, if they're assaulting parents for question education, they're arresting you, picking your kids up. I don't really want to find out how much worse it gets than that. I mean, I mean if we do want to blame we don't want to, you know, because now we're in the path to Stalinist Russia. Now we're on the path to fascism. There's so many other countries have gone down before us. There's no mystery where this path leads. There's no mystery how much how painful it is for a nation and a people. There's no questioning here how harmful this is to just the fabric of society and how hard it is to recover from that. If it's even possible in our lifetimes, and even our kids' kids' lifetimes. And you have to look and say, do I want to go down this road? The other people have already traveled? The other countries have already shown us that we do not want to do that exact thing that they did because it ended up in genocide? Ended up in gulags? You know? When Robert Smalls got hauled off and the Guinness Dad got hauled off here, you know, and sometimes in some, those places where they haul people off, you can always come back in those places where I'm on the road to right now, the place we're on the road to, when you got hauled off like that, sometimes, you got put in a fucking oven. You got put in a gula. Or maybe, maybe they just drove down the road a little bit, opened the car and shot you in the side of the head and left you in a fucking ditch like you see the pictures of what they've done in China, what they did in China back in the day during Mao's great deep forward. So do you realize that that's the road we're on and that's how bad it could get? Right now when they get hauled off, they still go to jail. But it's not always going to be that way. So wake the fuck up, get your shit together, and look at what's going on. Because it's pretty freaking obvious. It doesn't take much to see and show others. Have a good day, guys. Thanks for watching. Defund the tyranny here right now with our government. And get some views on this video and share it with everybody you know. This is wrong. This is oppression. You can't pick your own kids up from school. There's a serious problem about our country.